when texturing an object, the environment is as important as the texture itself. In order to step up your texturing process, I will show you how to do it in Blender without any add-ons. The first step is to download an HDRI on polyhaven.com. I really like the machine shop one. Select the resolution and download it. Here is a basic object for our example. Go to the shading tab and select world at the top. By default, we can change only the strength of the world light, but this light is not really useful. Press Shift A and add an environment texture. Open the HDRI we just downloaded. As you can see, it's a little bit better. The problem with HDRI is that they are usually colored and this can interfere with the texturing. To fix it, we add a U saturation value node after the image. If we reduce the saturation to zero, we will have a natural light. The next step is to be able to rotate the HDRI. Add a texture coordinate and a mapping node. Plug it to generate it. If you rotate on Z, the HDRI will follow. To better see our texture, let's create a natural ground and wall. Add a plane and extrude the back edges using E and press Z to go along the Z axis. Select those edges. Press Ctrl B. Increase the number of segments with the mouse wheel and click to validate. Don't forget to shade smooth. It's great, but we're not there yet. To better see the reflections and how the texture is reacting to light, I like to add some area lights. For the position on the back of your object is a really good choice. Make sure you add multiple of them. A cool trick to manage them together is to add an empty. Select the lights, then the empty, and press Ctrl P to parent them. If you move, rotate, or scale the empty, the lights will follow. In order to test a bit better how your texture is reacting to light, we can try another HDRI. Download another one on Polyhaven and duplicate the image node. Plug the mapping and open the second HDRI. If you want to see the colors, put the saturation back to 1. This is useful for reflective materials. Once we made the texture, it's always a good practice to check how the color reacts. To make this easier, I created Text Studio an add-on to set up all of this in a few clicks. You select the studio, the light setup, and click on the import button. It will automatically scale and place the studio and the lights at the bottom of the selected object. I added a few settings to quickly adjust the scene and lights, instead of going into the nose. I've made multiple studios and light sets so you can switch and see how the texture is reacting to the light. Another feature I really like is the possibility to save multiple versions of a material. It allows you to try different texture for your object. So that's it for today. If you haven't seen it already, here is a video on how to master wood materials for Fluent Materializer.